This is Joe Tech from JoeTech.com and I have another review for you today. This one is a service online that will take your website or blog RSS feed, uh, your Twitter feed, um, pretty much anything you can put into a feed uh, and they tie into some other applications and it'll put it on this device, your iPhone as an iPhone app. They make it real simple. Uh, it doesn't just do iPhone. It will also put it on one of these guys, your Android app. So get, get your app on Android or iPhone with this software. Now let me show you what it is. We go to this website here. If you just head over to iSites.us that's the web URL there. And when you go to the site, uh, it tells you you can create an app in 10 minutes. So we're going to try and do that. Uh, first, let me just point out a couple things. The, excuse me, the uh, pricing for this is what first caught my attention. $25. So that's not too bad. That comes with their advertisements in the app. Uh, if you want to put your own ads in or have no ads at all, you can sign up for the $99 a year plan. Um, and that, that'll get you either your own ads via AdMob or AdSense, or it'll get you no ads at all. Um, I'm going on the cheap, and I'm just going to put ads in for right now until I see how many people like the app. It, if no one downloads it, I don't want to pay more money for it right now. But uh, for right now, we'll just go back to the sign up and we'll get started here. So I've already got some of it started. Uh, all it asks for is your email, password. I'm going to type my password again. And then we come back here and it wants to know if I'm a human. So I'll type this in. Now I tried this a few times before, as you can see, and it didn't take it. Uh, I think it's case sensitive, which. I don't, I'm not too fond about, but whatever, I'll take it. Uh, and then at the bottom here we have the traditional terms of use, nice long page of text. Uh, normally people don't read through this stuff, um, and you know, sometimes I don't either. <clears throat> However, this time I read through the whole thing today, and I asked the, the founders about a couple things, and everything looks good, so I'm going to check that, and I'll hit sign up. So now it sent me an email with my confirmation. So let me just grab that real quick. Among all my spam and everything else here. And I have a new email. So in the email here, I have a uh, confirmation link, just like every other sign up email response gets. So I'll click that, I can close my first window, and now I have my login. So it has my email address and my password, and I'm gonna click login, and here we go. So let's see how long this takes to do. Um, first, I wanna go to apps. So it, this is kinda small here, uh, but this is what I wanna do. I wanna create a channel, so I'm gonna click start over here on the end. I'm going to call my app joetech.com Yeah, that's good. I can change it later, I think. I'm going to give it a description. joetech.com blog iPhone app Actually, I'll call it joetech.com mobile Okay, now I'll add some tags. <clears throat> Tech, technology, gadgets, course reviews, uh, web, geek, and of course, Joe Tech. Cat's trying to take over the mouse here. All right, thank you, Cat. So then I'll click create here. 
and it says I have no feeds yet. So I'm going to add a feed URL, and that's just going to be joetech.com slash feed. <clears throat> Pretty simple. That's my basic feed URL. If you do not have that in your, your feed reader, and you're not going to get my app, then you go put that in your feed reader and sign up. Uh, so for right now, I want my content type. It's a blog. In here, uh, might be kind of hard to read on the video, but I have blog, news, video, TV, podcast, music, photo, bookmark, and review. I'm going to put blog. And then it's got sections. Um, activism, business books, etc., etc., etc. You can read through all these yourself when you sign up. I'm scrolling right down to technology, as usual. And I'm going to click the checkbox that says I own this feed. Uh, part of their terms of service is that you can only make a, an, uh, an iPhone or Android app using their service with content that you own or have the right to produce and handle. Uh, so you can't go and uh, make an iPhone app for John Chow's blog. Um, you probably could, but it'll end up getting taken away. And... Uh, so just create one for your own and make sure you own the content that you're putting in it. So at the bottom here we have content rating. Um, generally my content's pretty clean. I try to keep it clean. So I'm going to leave that at clean. The other options are explicit and adult. Um, which I don't think you can really have too much of the other two on the iPhone app store anyway. So I'll click submit. This process will take a little bit longer given that I'm narrating the whole thing and it's taken a minute to load <clears throat> there we go so now on the right side over here you can see I have existing feeds. And it shows one, Joe Tech. And I have the option to delete it if I want. Of course, I do not want. Uh, so I'm going to go next step, design at the top. Now it shows me what it's going to look like in the iPhone. Um, if you'll notice here, these are active posts.